Michelle Obama is someone who's recognized all over the world. No first lady of China has ever had that kind of visibility. Wyatt Andrews looks at why that is starting to change. No one knew that China's new president, Xi Jinping, was even bringing his wife, Peng Liyuan, to Russia with him last weekend. The world just isn't used to Chinese first ladies. But by the time Russia's president, Putin, gave her flowers, the Internet was buzzing. Not with news of the state visit. The buzz was all about her. Who is she? Who designed her coat and that handbag? And what did her emergent signal about the changing nature of Chinese diplomacy? China has grown enormously, but let's be frank, uh, its global image is not good. Uh, it's very stiff, it can be very aggressive. And if you can get anybody who can soften that and add another dimension, then you know, Mr. Xi's wife, Ms. Peng, could do great work. Inside China, Peng Li Yuan is one of the country's most popular folk singers. This is her 2008 solo in the annual New Year's salute to the military. But Peng was already a star when she married her rising politician husband in 1987. China's first couple have a daughter studying at Harvard. But no one knew that Peng's next role was going to be this, the role of the traveling, visible, outgoing first lady, until she arrived in Moscow and continued on with her husband on his current swing through Africa. As for Peng's choice of fashion, she clearly knows what she's doing. She picked her coat and the handbag from a well-respected but not too high-end Chinese label called Exception. In diplomacy, it's likely that Peng will become the most high-profile Chinese first lady in memory. Chinese TV has recently featured her in schools or posing with artists. And she's a goodwill ambassador in the cause of treating AIDS and tuberculosis. These are all the sorts of things which, um, you know, political leaders would like their spouses to do. Michelle Obama is obviously a fantastic role model, and I'm sure the Chinese have seen that. If the point is to use Peng as the soft power face of China, or to soften the image of the all-male, dark-suited Chinese leadership, it's already working. For CBS This Morning, I'm Wyatt Andrews in Shenzhen, China. What's interesting about this is that and we've all known she was an entertainer. And people have talked about that mm -hmm. relationship and the daughter that's uh, at an Harvard, Ivy League school. Yeah. The other thing is that there are a lot of very famous uh, Chinese entertainers and television presenters mm -hmm. who, who have a worldwide uh, following. Yeah, it's very interesting, though, to see that story. It almost looks like a, play, a, a page out of Michelle Obama's book, doesn't yeah, it? I'm sure. What is she wearing? What is she doing? Who is she? Stunning woman. More to come, I'm sure.